Hello everyone, welcome back to The Orchard. It's February 2021. And today's video is about something that people ask about quite a bit, and that is whether to tell if a bud on your fruit tree is a fruit bud or a leaf bud. And this is important for a number of reasons. One, you want to know, obviously, if you're making pruning cuts, where your fruit buds are, because you don't want to prune your fruit buds off your tree. But number two, it's nice to just kind of take a walk on a day like today. As you can see, it's a kind of a cold, snowy February day, but you can kind of get a look at your trees and know what you have to look forward to in the spring. So we're going to take you in um, close and show you how to identify fruit buds on a variety of trees. So we have apples, pears, pawpaws, cherries, and peaches here. Um, and so we're going to show you the fruit buds on each kind of tree. There are some similarities, but also some important differences. So we're looking at an apple tree, and each fruit looks a little different in terms of its spurs. But notice the first thing that sticks out to you, the difference between a tree like this with all of these spikes. You can just see all those short little branches right there that are like one inch long coming out of the trunk. All those are fruit spurs. Um, and what you're going to notice is you come in here, put my glove in front of it, it's really furry. You can see that. It's short. There's a furry bud on it. That's going to be a fruit bud. Come over here. When they get really mature, they almost look like a glove on the end of a branch. Sort of like pear do the same thing right here. It's thickened right here. And then you have a really fat bud. That's going to be a fruit bud. And you can just kind of go along. There's fruit buds there, the one, two, three. So that's what apple fruit buds look like. Now, leaf buds look like this. They're longer. Notice they're longer and pointier at the very end of the branch. And that's going to give you a leaf. So that's leaf bud. And then we come in over here. And fruit bud, fruit spur. Notice that tiny little spur right there sticks out. You got a big fat bud that is more sort of rounded. So rounded, long and thin. Rounded, long and thin. So there, that's how you tell on an apple tree. The, 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 really the biggest way with an apple tree is the spur. You're gonna notice these little, little branches that stick out don't do a whole lot, they stick out a little, get a big fat bud, that's where your fruit's going to be. Right there, there, this tree's loaded, this is its fifth year coming up. It was planted in 2017, so this is Kids Orange Red. Kids Orange Red Apple. Some more fruit spurs right there. So you don't want to prune those off if you can help it, otherwise you're cutting down the amount of fruit you're going to get. Look at this tree. This is Colville Blanc. Uh, first year last year that it flowered, but now it's getting more established. And look, got some fruit spurs right there. Then at the end, you can see leaf bud. Leaf bud. Leaf bud. Fruit spur. And so that's the difference. They're short, they're fat, they're pretty easily identifiable. All right, let's look at a pawpaw. You can see pawpaw fruit buds are easy to tell. They're big and round like that, right here. Flower bud, flower bud, flower bud, all the way down. Whereas a pawpaw leaf bud just looks like a little, um, this looks like a little, almost like a little leaf coming out of the tip. So you can, they really stand out. Pawpaw leaf bud. Pawpaw fruit bud. Round, like a ball. Leaf, leaf bud. Pointy. So, that's on a pawpaw. Real easy to tell. They look totally different from each other. Lots of fruit buds on this guy. This is a sunflower. So now let's take a look at pear fruit buds. So this is an Asian pear tree loaded with fruit buds. Take a look at this. So pears will get this really fat swelling on the branch. See how it's the 
speckled nature of it is exaggerated there versus the normal way pear bark kind of has that sort of spotted look but coming up here you can see it change look notice how the bark changes in color from here to here this is very swollen large buds there's your fruit buds so when you look at the pear tree fruit bud fruit bud on the pear and they typically come in clusters so there are your pear fruit buds versus leaf buds just come off the side so fruit buds leaf buds on a pear tree so let's talk about a peach now a peach is different so apple has spurs peaches have kind of groups of flowers groups of buds I should say that are going to be flowers and leaves and so when you look at it a good example of a fruit bud on a peach kind of clusters I'm trying to find some good ones that are easy to see here's an easy to see one right here so you can almost see the, f the flower wanting to form there. There's some peach buds. We're looking at a cherry tree. And so for cherries, what you're going to look for are these kinds of buds here. They almost look like just a mass of buds on top of each other. Those are fruit buds on a cherry. Versus vegetative buds. At the end here of the branch, you can see, well, camera, get the camera to focus. Uh, versus the end of the branch, you can see here, vegetative bud, vegetative bud. Here's a good example, leaf buds. And over here, fruit buds. So they're not always, um, these are at the end of the branch, some are on the inside of the branch, it depends if you come down here. Um, fruit buds, but all along here. Leaf buds. So I hope you found this video useful. Um, it, as I said, it's something you just, a little bit of practice, you'll get it pretty quickly when you start growing fruit trees. I used to think it was a lot more complicated than it really is, and as you'll see in our series of videos to come, um, growing fruit trees can be as simple or as complicated as you want to make it.